You're, you're in a position that most young men would say is a dream. Um, but from my perspective, having experienced a tiny piece of the kind of attention you're getting, it could turn out to be a nightmare, you know. Could be, but I, I, I'm trying my best not to let it turn out that way, you know. When I get as famous as you, then maybe I'll start worrying like. <laughs> you're, you're more famous than anybody in the world. Now, it's eight weeks since the World Cup, and we've seen what's happened outside the door here, and it's been raining as well. Oh, and I a huge it. crowd of, of the kind of people that only new kids on the block or, or um, you know, Michael Jackson gets. They, they are weenie boppers. <laughs> Young weenie boppers. They I'm are. only weenie bopper. I know you are. But that's the thing, you have an appeal. But the thing is, your appeal is across the board. I mean, did, how did they smuggle you in here tonight? Um, like I said before, I hid in the boot of the car, you see. Um, get a little bit claustrophobic, but I'm all right. Yeah. Come in the boot and get them away. Everybody is saying, I mean, I'm, the same newspapers that are building you to the skies and hyping you up are also trying to give you advice and say things. Will this, will this young man be able to handle all that attention? Yeah, they, they're building me right up. It's unbelievable and I can't believe what's happening. Like I say, the, the, the enemy road, they're outside my house with cameras and everything. It's really, it's frightening really because all I want to do is just live my own life. Is there a bit of you that enjoys it? There must be. There's a bit of all of us that wants attention. When I score a hat-trick on a Saturday, I love the tension then. But um, <laughs> this other bit, the scandal and all that, I, do, I, I hate it. I can't stand it, you know? So what I've, what I've done really is lately is I, I read the papers and I think, oh, no, someone wrote this and someone wrote this and I had a good game, I had a bad game, he's better than me. I'm, you know, he's better than me. You know? <laughs> but um, I just don't let it affect us, you know? To be fair. And what I've started doing now, and it's worked, is I, I don't read the papers. No. Well, you know, Sir John Gielgud used to say he never read any critiques of his, when he, of his acting. He never read any. Yeah. You know, so that means that you're not going to be affected one way or the other. But it's very hard to run away from, from something like this. And as I say, as somebody in the media, you have all my sympathy. Um, I'm delighted that you've had such enormous success and long may you continue. Cheers. But it's very hard to handle it, you know, particularly when you're only 23. 23, I know. Yeah, it is, it is hard to handle it. I um, mean, like I said before, I can't believe it. From a lad who's just walked out of a social club, done some excelsior, I'll just give it a little plug. Is that watching? Hi, everyone. How are you? They're over there. They're so, over yeah. there. Give them away. Yeah. Yeah. Why not, for goodness sake? Yeah, That's right. the thing. While you're enjoying it and while, it, while it's happening, do try and enjoy it. Try and play Yeah, it's like everything else, Terry, isn't it? I mean, I mean, when things go well, you love it. And when things are get bad, you get upset about it. Maybe if you've seen before, I cried, don't I? Yeah, but that's all right. In a funny way, as I said in the introduction, and as Julie Wells said in the Times this morning, that's the secret of, of, of how you've gone to the heart of most people in this country, is that you were able to combine the qualities of courage and, and patriotism, and at the same time, not to be afraid to cry. Yeah, it was, that's right. I mean, it was just a, something that hit us, you know. I was leaving the World Cup, we weren't in the finals, and I was leaving some fantastic supporters who were there. It was fantastic. And after the game, I got back in the dressing room and everyone was giving, like, towels to dry themselves and that, and I was giving a couple of pampers. But the only thing, the only thing for you to do, because it's not going to go away, the thing is that what I think you have to get ready for is what they call the tall poppy syndrome what the Australians call it, old poppy syndrome. That that? It, we have a tradition in this country, <laughs> certainly among the press, that as soon as, as you become enormously successful, there reaches a point when they decide we're going to knock him off the parapet now. Oh, yeah. They're waiting for, I, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm trying, I mean, I'm working so hard to behave myself and be, like, you know, I mean, be something. I'm not, and the trouble is I'm, well, it's very I'm just easy. one of the lads, well, really, to be fair. Well, you don't want to behave yourself. Enjoy myself. Is, no, of course I don't want to be in this hell away. <laughs> no, it's, obviously I just want to be one of the lads. I want to stay one of the lads, and they're trying to make me not to be one of the lads, and I am. And it's great when I go back home and I see me mates, and we have a few drinks. Like you, Terry, we get drunk, don't we? Yeah, no, all the time. <laughs> Continuously. And I wouldn't mind, only you're supposed to be fit. I'm Tell me fit. this, there was, you know, this is the thing, you didn't score on Saturday, it was nil all the game. Yeah, I didn't score on And you were supposed player. to be tired, somebody said you were tired that it all the attention had got to you and it was wearing you down already? Yeah, I, obviously I was a bit... I haven't been sleeping well, Terry. I haven't been sleeping that well at all. I don't know why. I just, I, I just haven't been sleeping well. So, um, 
Uh, lack of sleep, doing a lot of travelling, and like you say, stupid things like this coming on a show like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I don't know how you could possibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You are going to get a lot of a lot of attention. I mean, there's, I mean, nearly everything's going to want to carry your name now, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, the good thing about coming on the show and not being fab, just give it a bit of stick. But the good thing is, as everyone can see, what's actually spoke the truth. You'll even be linked with people that you haven't probably ever met in your life. Yeah. Because there's going to be people who are going to say, "Oh, I knew Paul Gascon. Oh, I went to bed with Paul Gascon," and they'll get fifty thousand quid for saying that. Yeah. You'll have to accept that that's going to happen. Oh, that's right. I mean, I wouldn't mind them if they give me a half of it, you know, it'd be great. <laughs> I can do what I want to, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, and of course, the other thing you're going to get flung at you is all the money you make. And, I mean, have you got good advisors? Have you got people who yeah. are going to take care of you? You know, you know the way you're always being compared? George Best, they say. Look at... <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean... <laughs> no, I, I've, I haven't got an agent. I don't want an agent, you know. Um, I have an accountant and a lawyer. Well, I don't know what advice you've got, but if I were you, I'd make as much money as you possibly can. As much as you? <laughs> no, nobody makes Well, that. if I get as half as much as what you've got, Teddy, I mean, I'd be so... But you see... <laughs> I'm a very old man. <laughs> it's all right. I was penniless when I was your age. And the thing is, if you make... Just make as much money as you can, and then you'll be able to do... Whatever you like after that. Yeah. And just exactly. keep keep your head down for a few years. Exactly. So that oh, yeah, they, so that they can't do an axe job on you. Exactly. You're going to make a record. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's um, Gaza Rap. But it's also Gaza Gaza Rap. Yeah, but no. Are you a good singer? Can you sing? No, I'm not a very good singer. Was, we make it called Geordie Boys, like. It's called Geordie Boys, so you wouldn't probably understand it. That's a good thing about it. <laughs> so, I've, in fact, I've got the lyrics up upstairs, like. Um, <laughs> But, um, it'll be OK, hopefully. Yeah. You've got a few buttons to make your voice sound great, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> fantastic. It'll be fantastic. We look, forward, we look forward to you having a wonderful season. Cheers. And I just hope that, I, I just hope that the tabloids will be, will be kind. Sure they will. And I hope you'll be able to have a happy and enjoyable life and enjoy your fame. Exactly. And everything that goes with no it. No problem. I want to enjoy my life myself as well. I'm sure you will. I hope you will. Cheers, Terry. Paul Gaston. <laughs>